Hey everybody and welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included. It's been a while since the last episode and a lot of stuff has changed in the game since we last played. Um, I think we last played with the agricultural upgrade and since then they've had the oil upgrade, uh, the newest one which is a tubular upgrade. Um, I think there might have also been a power upgrade. I think there would have been like three or four upgrades to the game since we last played it, it is of course in early access and for those of you who haven't watched me play this before and are joining us for the first time, this is a space colony simulation survival game made by Clay, the creators of Don't Starve um, and also games like uh, Invisible Ink if you played anything like that and also Mark of the Ninja. I'm not going to list all of Clay's back catalogue and also I'm not a paid spokesperson for Clay but uh, nevertheless I enjoy their games. We are playing some more Oxygen Not Included. Um, I have clicked New Game to skip all like the loading screen. And you start by picking your three duplicates. These are the three people who are going to make up the start of our colony. Uh, you can press Shuffle in the top right to change the person to get a random different person. Um, I have already picked out these first two. Did a little bit of shuffling before the episode started just to save uh, on time here so you don't have to watch me shuffling through too much stuff. And uh, again, I'm going to quickly rename these people here. This can be me. I am, of course, a beautiful blonde IRL. I'm not really, but would love to be. Uh, and then this can be Nick as well. Why not? And then finally over here, we will shuffle until we get somebody else. But before I choose a person, um, again, for those who are new, um, you have your attributes. These are just essentially how good your duplicate is at doing certain things. Uh, over here on the right, I am very good at construction, something that I figure will be quite nice to have early game, the ability to build things faster. Cooking is, of course, always nice. Everybody has to eat. And then tinkering, uh, I'm not quite sure how tinkering works specifically, uh, but having plus five tinkering didn't seem like a bad thing. Uh, all of our duplicates then have traits. Uh, everyone has at least one good and bad trait, but some duplicates do have multiple good and multiple bad, uh, usually depending on how good their other uh, attributes are. Uh, for example, I have got Grease Monkey, which is why I have plus five tinkering. And then I also have Squeamish, which is my negative trait, uh, which means I can't perform the job it. So if somebody gets hurt, I can't be the one to help them. Uh, Nick is also squeamish. Squeamish, I think, is one of the better negative traits. Um, Nick also has an iron gut, and so he is never going to get diarrhea, no matter how much he eats. Um, and then at the bottom here, we have additional uh, attributes. We have decor expectation, which is how good each duplicate wants their environment to be. Do they expect to live in a nice place with like a toilet and some paintings and things to look nice? Or um, like Nick, Nick's got a decor expectation of negative 25. He's not really bothered. He's happy living in a cave with rocks and, and no pictures and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then finally, food quality. Uh, or not finally, there's one more important section that we've got to get to at the end here. But food quality, uh, again, is much like the core expectation, how good they expect their food to be. Um, usually the higher level somebody is, so you'll notice I'm a level seven architect, the higher their decor and food quality expectations. If you have somebody who has a high decor expectation or a high food quality expectation who doesn't get that high quality of food or decor, that's when they start getting stressed and they start responding with their stress response. For example, um, when Isaac gets stressed, he starts to be destructive. He starts to break things and can no longer perform the job of repairing stuff. Nick, when he gets stressed, he starts to vomit. Again, I don't think these are particularly bad. I think destruction might be a bit worse than vomiting. My favorite stress response, the one that I think is the least bad, is Ugly Cryer, which um, Ban He is right now. Um, probably not going to stick with Ban He, um, although medicine is quite nice to have. We've already got tinkering, um, and I would kind of like somebody who is either good at learning so they can get into research quite quick, um, or creativity or athletics actually i might go with otto here otto is a yokel which means he can't do research um right now nick is our best candidate for research uh, nick's kind of an all-round character you'll see he's a low level level two minor and he doesn't specialize really in anything apart from maybe digging but uh, we could probably use him and mold him into a learner into a researcher if we wanted to um, i think i'll keep otto here uh, i'll rename otto to uh james do i know a james no i don't but i like the name james so we'll go with james twinkle toes means that he has plus seven athletics really nice early on uh, given that our first source of power is going to be the uh, human hamster wheel uh, so we can stick him on there and produce a decent amount of power and then yoko means that he can't perform the job research stress response is vomiter not the best not the worst uh, there are a few negative traits um, and a few stress responses that use more oxygen and use more food and things like that, which are pretty bad. Um, and so without further ado, I've done enough yapping here on the first screen. This is our crew. We are called the Sneezing Pit. All right, let's embark. So six minutes into the video and we are ready to go. 
So for those who are new here, this is oxygen not included. Uh, we've got all of our stats kind of in the top left. We've got three duplicates. We've got a stress level of five. Uh, everyone starts a little bit stressed because they've arrived on this new alien planet and they don't really know what's going on we've got 20,000 kilocalories that's how much food we've started with in our ration box here um, immune system is at 91 percent kind of wish that i would have started at 100 percent um it is something that's new uh, since i last played they've added in germs and you can now get diseases and your colony can kind of die quite quickly if you don't keep hold of those uh, bottom left here we've got all of our building uh, you know, base, oxygen, power, food, etc. This is where we're going to craft everything. And then on the bottom right, we've got all of the uh, action tools. So if I want someone to dig, I can click dig and then highlight where I want them to dig. Uh, I'm probably going to try and use as many hotkeys as I can. For example, you can press G uh, to bring up the dig tool and then I think uh, C to bring up the cancel tool and then X to delete. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use those as often as I can. Uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing just by what the cursor shows. Um, and so before... I get too ahead of myself. What I want to do with this colony is first kind of plan out a little bit where I want everything uh, to go. So I'm going to have to dig out a little bit here just so I unlock uh, the dig tool. And one thing that I really do wish this game had that it doesn't have is a planning tool because what I have to do here to plan is pause the game, get out the tile tool, and then kind of start telling my duplicates to build but not actually having them build. Um, I really wish there was just kind of like a prison architect style planning button so you could plan stuff out without having your duplicates fully build it but uh, that's just a little pet peeve let me cancel this for now and get into how i want my base to look because normally i just kind of go in willy-nilly and start putting things down but i want to be a little bit more methodical here so uh one two three four let me go one two three four five let's do five there and then one two three four five like that so I kind of want this middle section here to look like this. We do have some nice supplies of water nearby, which is good. We don't have any water above us, which I also quite like. I do like leaving my water quite low down. It makes it a lot easier to deal with. Uh, so uh, one of the things that has been changed in the new updates is that um, you can now get a room bonus by fully encasing um, certain things into rooms. You know, so it's got walls all around it and maybe a door at the front. And so over here on the far right, uh, one of the new overlays is the room overlay. And you can see that there are different rooms. There's a miscellaneous room, which is just a room with nothing in it. We've got a latrine, which is a room of obviously a bathroom. Uh, the room criteria, it has to have a toilet, a wash station, no industrial machinery, a minimum size of 12 tiles, and a maximum size of 64 tiles. So it can't be too small, and it can't be too big. But if we meet all of the criteria, uh, we get a stress relief bonus. So people feel relieved you know they re they release some stress when they go to take a dump it's always nice who doesn't love it um then we've got barracks sleeping in a bed will restore additional stamina for duplicates uh, if it is located in a barracks so room criteria is one bed and i'm assuming this is trying to get you to have a single bedroom for every duplicate as opposed to having all of your duplicates sleep right next to each other in a cot um, but if you have one bed, no machinery, and then the same size requirements, you get a stamina recovery bonus, a stress relief bonus if they eat in a room that's not just like on the floor, if they eat with a table, you know, in the same size space. And then finally, a med bay for sick people. They get a, a quarantine sick duplicate, so we can kind of keep them away from everybody else and stop the infection from spreading if we set up a med bay. Some of these are not necessarily useful right away, but they are useful to bear in mind when we start planning things out a little bit here. Uh, so what I am kind of thinking is um, I like this width here as a starting platform. Um, I then also do like to leave a gap either side of my ladders just to allow uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide and whatnot to move around more freely. And so we are going to do something like this on either side. We'll have ladders moving up and down. But then I also do quite like the idea of having, uh, and also I've run out of materials so I can't build here. Let me... Uh, press play real quick and let them do a little bit more sandstone digging so i can get some more tiles down i also do quite like the idea of having multiple rooms in this starting section so i kind of obviously want uh, doors to go here and here but then one two three four five what i'm kind of thinking is i might make this a little bit bigger actually what i might do is have this be a bit wider uh, because what i'm thinking is i might have ladders here in the middle as well just to make it a little easier for all of our duplicates to get around. Uh, I can't put ladders here because of the ration box, but just assume uh, that there are ladders there. And then from those ladders, have a door like that. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then down like this. I think I might do it like that instead. And then the same thing here on this side. One, two, three, four, and five. Down, across, and then door here, door here, door here, and then door here. And then if I press play again real quick and have them do a little bit more digging just to give me some more stuff to play with. 
any second now. Could you, uh, I have to increase the priority real quick. Could you, uh, dig a higher priority for me? Thank you very much. And so what I'm thinking, uh, ladders, pause that real quick. I don't want to doing too much of it. Ladders going up like this and like this. And then probably eventually, of course, these are predetermined rooms, but then eventually I'll probably have uh, more rooms of a similar design on the other side here. So like one, two, door here, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five by five is not necessary or five by four, I should say. My rooms are only four tall. Um, I might make certain rooms taller uh, and certain rooms smaller, but you get the idea. I'm going to have, hopefully you get the idea. I'm going to have another room on this side of the uh, the ladder that looks pretty much, not ladders, uh, that looks pretty much exactly the same as the other rooms, same size. Uh, you know, maybe we can have bedrooms over on this side. One, two, three, four, five, one, like that. You know, maybe we can have bedrooms over on the side and then have other things in the middle. Um, and then if I can get my tile tool back real quick, if I cancel that, I might get it. Yeah, there we go. Um, the idea is going to carry on up. So one, two, three, four. There's going to be like a platform. I keep messing that up. There's going to be a platform that goes up like that. And then one, two, three, four, probably another platform like that. And then one, two, three, four, like that. You get the idea going up and down all the way along. Uh, we do need somewhere to put all of our carbon dioxide. Um, so for those who don't know, we've got the uh, oxygen overlay, which shows us uh, the kind of concentration of different gases in the air around us. Uh, light blue is breathable oxygen. Dark blue is breathable, but less so. It's less oxygen-rich air. Uh, red usually means carbon dioxide. Uh, carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, and so it will fall down, which is something that we can use to our advantage. We can have all of our carbon dioxide fall down to a lower section of the base and have the oxygen rise up. Uh, it does usually mean that we're going to have to set up like a pit at the bottom somewhere uh, for all of our carbon dioxide to go, at least until we can start processing it and scrubbing it from the air with some of the research uh, later on in the game. But uh, you get the idea here. Uh, I am going to go ahead and... I think leave, I'm going to cancel this and this, but I think I'll leave this first bit here just so we can actually kind of get this going and just so I don't forget and build it incorrectly. Uh, but we'll press play. We'll let our duplicates get to work. And one of the first things that we need to worry about is getting a toilet up and running because our duplicates do need to use the bathroom in the first day. You can see we're on cycle one. And if they don't have a bathroom in their first day, uh, then they're just going to pee on the ground, at which point everybody gets stressed. Everyone might get a little bit ill if they are infected uh, and people just get stressed. They don't like having to deal with, with pee. And so uh, hopefully they can get these ladders built. Uh, oh no, they can't because the ration box is here. Um, I think I can build another ration box, although it might be under food. I might have to unlock it. Yeah, I do. I have to do basic farming research. So I guess for now then, our lavatory is going to have to go up here. Uh, so yeah, we'll start digging that out. We'll make it a priority six. Uh, although I don't really think we have to. They're going to do it anyway because they don't have anything else to do. Uh, we'll have them dig that out, and I'll put my first toilet uh, up on this level. We do also want to make sure that we put down a uh, wash basin as well so they wash their hands after they've been to the bathroom. Uh, I'm still not quite sure whether or not they need to use the wash basin on the way in and on the way out. I don't think they have to use it on the way in, just on the way out to make sure they don't bring any germs with them as they leave. Uh, but just to be safe for the time being, I'm going to leave it on in and out. Um, now, in order for this to work, they do, of course, need access to a source of water. And so I think what I'll do for the time being is just something like this and then dig out kind of along to there. Um, I'm hoping I didn't dig out any uh, oxalite in my first area there. I should actually cancel that, that, and that, because the oxalite, it's essentially free oxygen, which makes the game a lot easier uh, in the early game. It does run out, and we don't want to waste it. Uh, so let me get rid of, oh, my hotkeys. Get rid of this, uh, dig out this, and then hopefully I'll start building this ladder here, digging this out. That'll give them access uh, to the clean water on this side. Uh, can you not do that? Oh, you need to dig that out. Please dig. And then also, please build a ladder right about there. Nice, okay. Um, so now, it used to be that the duplicants could pick up water just using their little guns here, uh, but now you have to build what is known as a bottle, uh, pitcher pump, sorry, not the bottle empty here. Uh, the bottle empty is how you get rid of water. We need a pitcher pump, which I think we kind of need to put here. Um, actually, I might have them go even further down. Instead of using this water source, I might have them use this water source. And thinking about it, I'm going to pause real quick. What I might do is just have all of this water come down and join this water source as opposed to having two sources that are kind of awkward to deal with. That would also leave us quite a bit of space to build on this level as well. And so, yeah, what I think I'll do is I'll have the ladder come down like that. 
Um, I do want to keep this oxalite, though, is the thing. And if I dig out this way, they are going to lose that oxalite. Um, the lavatory is up. Let me quickly throw down some beds because it is almost at the end of the day and they do want to have somewhere to sleep. Um, for now, we don't have the space to give them all their own individual bedroom. Um, and so I guess we can just do one, two, and three. It does block the door, but it should do for the time being. Um, I know there's no oxygen down here. It's kind of hard to breathe, but hopefully uh, this oxygen will start moving up as soon as you break these two bits. Is he sleeping? Oh, I didn't build the beds in time, so they're all just sleeping where they are. This requires some serious upper body strength. They're both on the ladder and both sleeping whilst just holding on to the ladder. That's incredible. That is commendable. That's some dedication to sleep right there. I'll give them that. Um, so hopefully they'll keep building this ladder all the way down. Um, I'll put my pitcher pump for now. I do need to get this pitcher pump down at ASAP because otherwise they are going to struggle um, washing their hands. And at which point we're going to start getting germs all over the place. Oh, they've already done it. You can see already uh, they started to spread food poisoning around the base because they're not washing their hands after they've been uh, to the outhouse here. So uh, this needs to be like a priority seven. Can we get this done, like, as soon as possible, please? Uh, it is going to require that you dig out this area over here. But hopefully you can get that done nice and quickly. He's eating. We are in a bit of a food shortage. Uh, you have managed to trap yourself up here. Uh, and I am... <laughs> this is me, and I'm not very happy about the fact that I have managed to trap myself up there. If they get rid of that, though, they should be able to jump down. Yeah, there we go. Oh, gosh. We did that just in time. I would not have been happy had I have peed on the floor. But you can see, didn't wash your hands, Isaac. You didn't wash your hands. That's why you're always ill. All right. So thankfully, water is now in the wash basin, so we can start to wash our hands. And all is not lost. Uh, there is a disinfect tool, so we can go and disinfect, like, everything um, that we've put down here already, just to make sure we get rid of all of that uh, food poisoning. It is something that I wish I didn't have to do. I wish that we had have just gotten the water in quicker. But nevertheless, we should be able to cancel and, and clear out everything here. And we should also put down a couple of the storage compactors uh, just so we can start to sweep up some of the stuff on the floor. Uh, people aren't too happy when they have to walk around and live in this like messy environment, so uh, we'll prioritize these up at a... Uh, no, I'll let them finish with the uh, the uh, disinfecting first, and then once you got rid of all of that, they'll start building these uh, storage compactors. We do have to specify what goes in them. For now, we'll put everything in there, and then you can click copy settings to have the same setting applied to everything else. And so I want everything placed in here. And you'll see right away they've got nothing else to do. And so they're going to start sweeping up uh, all of the uh, the dirt and all of the metal and everything that's on the floor here. Um, and actually, speaking of which, I don't think we have any metal because if we did, we would have unlocked um, research, which is under stations. Uh, we haven't unlocked our research station because we need 400 kilograms of metal, which I believe we're going to get from here. Uh, we can also get it from here, I guess, as well. Might just dig that out to be safe. And ooh, somebody is fleeing. We'll pause here real quick. Um, I look terrified, and that is because uh, we have found just behind here this little guy, the uh, the hatch. Now, the hatches do attack you as soon as you find them, uh, but you'll see there, you might have seen it, you might not have seen it. There was a little thing that came up that said forgiveness. They are very angry when you wake them up and they will try to attack, but they forgive you incredibly quickly. They are so forgiving, and I have been told that it's a good idea to keep these guys around because um, although they do eat things, um, and occasionally they'll eat resources that you might want to keep, but what they also do is uh, they poop out coal, I believe. And so uh, later on down the line, we can start to use coal. Um, I can't see any around just yet, but I know we will have some uh, somewhere. Uh, they... We can use coal to produce power in a coal generator, and having those guys around long-term gives us a long-term, infinitely renewable source of coal uh, that we can then use for long-term power. Pretty cool. Uh, so we do need to still dig out over here, guys, if you uh, don't mind. I know you've got a lot of sweeping to do, but if you could just clear all this stuff out, that would also be uh, great. I would like to get some of this uh, copper here so we can start doing a little bit of research. Um, also, we do need another level, so let me like dig out this as well. I don't want to get rid of the oxalites. I'm going to dig around the oxalite. Uh, the algae is nice to have. And then we'll build just a tiled floor along like this. And the same idea, like that and like that. I think it might be a little hard for oxygen to get around our base at the minute. Um, although I think for the most part, we are fine. Yeah, it is a little bit carbon dioxide-y over on the left here. But for the most part, uh, in the room they're sleeping in, it seems to be okay. And all of our carbon dioxide is slowly making its way down to this lower level. I don't think we quite need the algae deoxidizer just yet. Uh, this is used to produce oxygen. It takes in power and algae and produces oxygen. Uh, we will need one of those eventually, but for now, I think we are fine. I uh, just want these guys to dig out over here. And also, if we could keep digging uh, the metal as well, that would be great. 
Food is something we need to keep an eye on. Uh, you'll notice we're down to 19,000 kilocalories. And uh, one thing we can do is under reports, we can see our daily usage of everything. So yesterday, uh, we used 161 kilograms of oxygen and produced zero. Not too big of a deal in the early game because, of course, we do have that oxalite producing oxygen for us. But you'll see over time, it does slowly deteriorate and disappear. Um, we used zero power and produced zero power. That's fine. But we did use 4,000 kilocalories yesterday and produced zero, which means we are at a bit of a food deficit. I have no idea how we used 4,001 today. Uh, someone ate an extra bite, maybe. I'm not quite sure. Uh, that would be a really small bite for one kilocalorie. But nevertheless, we've got some copper now. Uh, and so we have unlocked the ability to build our first research station, which I think for now, I'm going to have to put like right here. A lot of this stuff is temporary um i love the little like sine wave on here that's not a sine wave but you get the idea um a lot of this stuff is temporary we will move it in the future for example i'm going to put the uh, manual generator aka hamster wheel right about there and i'm going to cram a tiny battery in between it and the research station just in case somebody decides to pop off the uh, hamster wheel and we still need the research to be done um, and then all we have to do is connect wires up like so and like so nice and so any second now they should have all of that stuff in and together they do indeed nick is already on the hamster wheel but i don't think we want him on the wheel and that's where the jobs menu comes in here we can designate which duplicates we want to do which jobs for example uh, we could say that isaac do nothing do absolutely nothing it'll be a waste of this duplicate uh, but we could do it if we wanted to what we want to do is we want to put james on power because he is a runner a level eight runner and has athletics eight and so he's going to produce a lot more power or at least enjoy running more i'm actually not quite sure um what buff we get from that i don't know if we actually get more power from it or not but uh, nevertheless james is the person uh, that we want on our power wheel and i would like uh, i think nick to be the one who performs research for us yeah you can see he's not quite as good of a researcher as james is a runner but it is a little bit more pink uh, than it is for me and then james just can't do research uh, at all because he is a yokel um, and i think the first one is definitely going to be basic farming Basic farming gets us the planter box, which is going to allow us to start to grow our own food, which is going to be really useful, uh, especially as we start losing 4,000 calories per day. Um, every so often, we do get the ability to print a new duplicate. Flipper Neck, James does not look excited. Is he, like, going to the toilet or something? I don't know, he's just carrying a lot of stuff, I guess. All right. Uh, but we do get the option to get a new duplicate. Now... The benefit to getting a new duplicate is that obviously you can build things faster, you can clear things out faster, and you can assign them to do different things because right now we're going to have one person on the hamster wheel, we're going to have one person doing research, and so that does mean that we're only going to have one person free to walk around and build things and, and, and clear out areas. And so having an extra duplicate is not necessarily a bad thing, but they do require more oxygen, they do require more food, and given that those are two things that we're not producing right now, we're actively losing uh, both of those, I'm going to go ahead and reject all of these, especially given some of these uh, negative traits. Bottomless stomach, not great. I don't want somebody eating more than they have to. Uh, biohazard, not great. I don't want somebody getting sick and infecting everybody else. And then May over here does have um, plus five medicine and is an early bird. So they do get, they are more efficient in general. They do more things in the day than everybody else uh, because they wake up earlier. But I don't think that any of these are good enough to hold on to. And so I'll click reject all. We do get more of these eventually. We'll get another little pop-up, which will ask us if we want to get another duplicate. Uh, unlike at the starting screen, you can't shuffle those. Um, and so the only way to get different duplicates is to reject them and then wait for them to come back again with more. Uh, you'll see we get our next batch in 2.9 cycles. Um, and so we do get them quite often. And to be fair, you could go quite far with just three duplicates. You don't have to keep bringing more and more in. Uh, you'll see already James and Isaac are just sat here doing nothing because they don't have anything to do. How far away are we from completing our uh, research? We are at two out of 15, so not too close. Um, let me think about how I want to get rid of this water. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to dig like right down here. I'm going to build some temp ladders like this, and I'm going to just dig all the way down through to here. I'm going to cancel that one and I'm going to dig here just so we don't lose the oxalite. Uh, that's going to cause all this water to run down into this section here. And then for now, I think that'll be fine. That'll clear up some space up here for us to build in. Uh, but then eventually I'll probably just knock out this bit of wall here and have all the water come together and be on one level. Um, again, I don't want to get rid of the oxalite. So for now, I'm just going to leave that there. I think getting rid of oxalite is a complete waste. One thing we do have to worry about is A, carbon dioxide. Our duplicates can't breathe when they're underwater like this. Uh, but also hypothermia i believe they can get very cold 
in the water. Um, and I don't think it's particularly warm around here to begin with. It's kind of temperate. And so uh, getting into the... Uh, oh, it gets very hot down at the bottom, doesn't it? Jeez. Uh, but getting into water, even in a temperate environment, can cause hypothermia pretty quickly if we're not careful. Um, so colony requires a food source. We're going to work on that. We're going to put that over in this room here. And then insufficient oxygen generation. Uh, it's just because we're not producing oxygen again. I think we should be fine for the time being. Yeah, you can see, if anything, it's getting better because all of the carbon dioxide is falling down uh, into this pit here and eventually will fall down uh, into this pit here as all of the uh, oxygen rises up. Um, and so we are fine for now. Um, again, you'll see here, we did have four bits of oxalite originally. Um, and you'll see it's slowly but surely going down 58 kilograms, 57 kilograms, so on and so forth. You get the idea. Um, so this is almost ready to go. There goes all of our water. Uh, I would not want to be in your position. I have no idea how you're breathing right there, but that's fine. Uh, so all of that water is going to slowly but surely uh, drift on down through to there. And while it does that, I would like to build a little platform like so. And then same idea. We're going to have walls there. We're going to have walls there. I would like to get rid of that if we can. And then I would also like to have ladders on this side. Uh, we could have made gaps between these ladders to help with oxygen flow, um, but these ones are mostly just to make it easier for our duplicates to get around. Um, it's not really necessary in the early game, but I think um, as we go forward, having just more routes for our duplicates to take to get from one point to another is going to make a lot more sense. We do already have hypothermia. Uh, Isaac has caught hypothermia being in the water too long, uh, which means I think we are going to have to build a med bed right away. Uh, wasn't really something I wanted to build quite so early, but I guess we are going to have to put that down. I'll bump that up to like priority seven. You can see I do not look happy about that whatsoever. Uh, the med bed does require power, and so we are going to have to run that along like so. And we might as well clear out this area here and get down these tiles as quick as we possibly can. Can we make all of this like a priority seven? Get this done so Isaac can get rested up and, and healed. Yeah, there we go. There we go. James helping me out getting stuff done. Maybe you don't need power for the med bed now that I think about it. I thought it did. Oh no, it's the massage table that needs power. Let me uh, cancel that real quick. Do not need the power. I would still like the uh, the tiles and so I'll put those back down but uh, power not required. And that sound right there is the sound of our research completing and so we have unlocked uh, a few more things. We can now make our algae deoxidizers as well as the algae terrariums. Uh, the difference here is that the algae deoxidizers use power and algae to produce oxygen whereas the algae terrarium doesn't use power, uh, but I believe uses more algae for less oxygen, but also takes away carbon dioxide. Um, it's, it's not a bad way of getting rid of carbon dioxide, but I think in the early game, uh, it's best to go, and maybe even always, it's best to go with the algae deoxidizers. Just because algae is quite a, a limited resource, you don't have a ton of it, um, and you kind of want to treasure it as much as you possibly can. Uh, have we unlocked the rations box? We have indeed, so I am going to move this one. Uh, I think for now, just like over to here like that uh, so that i can get my ladders down correctly like that like that get rid of you continue that down like so again just making life a little bit easier to get up and down and then i kind of wish i'd put the med bed here because i want to start putting my plant boxes uh, here where isaac is but that's fine uh, let's go to food planter box and we can put down a few of them um whilst i get better i'm not quite sure how long it's going to take me to get better uh james is also a little bit stressed but i think he should be uh fine I have no idea how long it takes me to get better, but, like, through this. Um, I think I might have to have somebody, like, working on me to get better. Or maybe I just have to rest. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, our base is looking a bit of a mess right now, but it should get better as time goes on here. Uh, I do want that built there. Of course, we do need to move the beds and stuff. Uh, we'll dig that out. Everything seems to be okay for now, though. Oxygen is good. Food is our biggest priority. Uh, carbon dioxide is slowly becoming an issue, but I think we are fine for quite a while here. Um, and putting down an algae deoxidizer uh, should help uh, increase the concentration of oxygen in the upper half of the base and help push down uh, the carbon dioxide to the lower levels uh, as we go forward. Like I mentioned, we will get like a big like pit down here at some point uh, to store all of our excess oxygen in. Uh, Isaac is better, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct uh, this. Can we get that to like a priority seven, please? Get rid of that. Uh, and then put down some more planter boxes. Uh, I am going to make the planter boxes like a permanent priority seven because I want these to be worked on as soon as possible. Connie requires med beds. Really? I'm still ill? I just got out of bed to eat? All right, that's fine. I can move the med bed to like here for the time being. It works out because I needed the space for the planter boxes anyway. So get the bed built. Uh, planter boxes, we are going to plant, I guess, some mealwood seeds. And then we'll copy that setting, I think, to everything. 
Um, mealwood's quite nice in that it requires, it, it's pretty easy to grow. Um, it just requires an air pressure of 150 grams. You can see right now uh, we're at 800 grams. So unless a lot of oxygen disappears and the air is getting thinner very quickly, uh, we might want to put down an algae deoxidizer quite fast. But um, all it needs is uh, air pressure. As long as you've got air pressure, it doesn't matter what else is here. The plants will grow, which is quite nice. Um, speaking of which, let me go and uproot this one so we can plant another one. And then also let us... Do we have any more about? We don't, but I guess we could go and dig these ones up real quick. Like that. Uh, and then once we dug those ones up, that should allow us to fill in all of our planters and maybe even build some more, uh, which isn't a bad idea because I don't think five is going to really cut it for us um, at this moment in time. Can we give uh, Isaac like a priority seven? Can we get him done? Uh, and also make these a priority seven so that once they are fully grown, our duplicates make it a priority uh, to go and harvest those as fast as possible. Stress is up at 10, uh, but I think that's fine. Um, I think James might be decor, maybe? Um, decor negative 18.5, I guess not. Uh, stamina, breath. I'm not quite sure why his stress is so high. It might be the mess. I think it should go down, though, as time goes on. I don't think it's uh, a major problem, although it is still on the rise there. Uh, can we uproot this and uproot this, please? Thank you very much. Uh, we will uproot the rest of the stuff here eventually, but for now, really just interested in the mealwood. Get that planted. Get it ready to go. Isaac looks like I think he's finally done with the hypothermia, which is good. It's always nice to not have our duplicants out of action in the med bay. Um, and so now I think it might not be a terrible time uh, to pause and throw down a algae deoxidizer. So I think for now, I'm just going to put this probably, hmm, like here maybe. I don't think it's ideal. We might even want to put it up here because what it's going to do is it's going to produce oxygen, but then it's going to fill up the air and then push that oxygen down as this like fills up with air. And that should hopefully help push all the carbon dioxide down. The pressure in here is not great. Uh, and so it might not be a terrible idea to fill this in more. And actually, although it doesn't work, go with my aesthetic, I think I am going to delete these just because that's going to allow us to put down more planter boxes. Um, and I would like to have this like form of a function for now. Um, we can probably do the same with this. It's also going to allow the gases to move around a lot easier. Uh, you do need power, which is kind of the uh, only downside to having it quite so far away. Um, I don't know why I can't see my uh, wires. Where am I? Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it doesn't show me the wires. There they are. Must be a little bit of a glitch. That's fine. There we go. Okay, so that should be fine. Uh, we do want these to include the same uh, mealwood seeds like that. Uh, how many do I have? If I cancel that, uh, we've got just the one. Do I need to go get another one from somewhere? Or do we have one left after that? Oh, no, we've still got... Do we have one? We can have one. Okay. I <laughs> got, got inside my head a little bit there, but that should be uh, planted as soon as possible. They are all set to priority seven, which is good. Algae deoxidizer is up and running, producing oxygen um, for all of our higher levels. You can see already, uh, this is starting to look a lot better and be a lot more blue. And then from there, I do want to have a room down here for my carbon dioxide. That's going to be kind of hard to do if we combine these water sources. And so as weird as it's going to look, I don't want to get rid of this uh, oxalite. What I think I am going to do is build a wall here. Not here. Build a wall going down like that. And then one, two, three. Actually, let's cancel. Let's get rid of that one. And let's put like this here. We can plan it out while they're asleep. I think I'm going to have to get rid of that. It's going to look real weird. And also, for the time being, it might even be like a big old waste of space. But I'm thinking we build like a makeshift chimney here and have just like a big old gap. You know, with a ladder that goes all the way down and just allows all of the carbon dioxide to fall down into a room down here. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. I don't want to make it too big. Um, I've gone too big before and it just takes up a lot of their time, uh, which is not necessary. I think I'm going to make the center area here a higher priority just so they can do it from the inside as opposed to dealing with the water. Uh, hopefully the water doesn't flow out. Uh, you do have to dig this out first, guys. Otherwise, you can't get to the middle section. But hopefully they should get that done. Uh, Isaac is a little cold down there. I've got to keep him away from the, uh, from the water. We don't want any more hypothermia. And it is going to be a bit of a pain in terms of um, 
Our duplicates not being able to breathe down here as well. But uh, hopefully, the idea is that once they've got this done, they're going to be able to breathe a lot better long term. At least, that's my hope. We do also want to get rid of this as well, but that's not really too high of a priority for now. So long as they can get this stuff done, I'm fine with that. Uh, stress is on the increase, but the highest stress has been decreased. Isaac is a lot more stressed now, but James is a lot less stressed. Probably just worrying about Isaac being uh, in the med bed. So it looks like we've done fine at not getting water in here, which is good. We are about to get rid of this oxalite here, but then again, it does only have six kilograms left. It might even disappear before we get to using it. Like, mm, we, did, we did get rid of that, but I think it would have disappeared anyway. Please, please, can we not? Guys, 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 guys. Come on now. Come on now, don't. Oh, that's my bad. I should have made that a higher priority. Oh, come on now. No, do this one. I should have made this one a priority. Are you going to make me spell it out for you? Are you going to make me make this a priority nine so you do that one first? Oh, that's not what I want to do. That is not at all what I want to do. Um. Okay. How do I go about fixing that? I don't think there is a lot I can do about it. I think we've just made, unfortunately, a third water source here, which I really didn't want to make. But I have made nonetheless. Um, and so at this point, it might not be a terrible idea. We're going to dig this out no matter what. Hmm. You know what? Cancel. Stop. Don't do that. We've made a bit of room for carbon dioxide. Um, I am going to have them dig this out here um, and also put down another level like one, two, three, four, like that. And then, of, all, of course, eventually like this. But this one's getting a little too high uh, for my liking because we've put down uh, more blocks here. Um, but hopefully just increasing. I would have really liked to have gotten this room done down here, but I think just making more space on this bottom level is going to help with the carbon dioxide for the time being. Um, and the most important thing, really, is that they have oxygen while they can sleep and that there is enough um, air over here to make sure that our plants will grow. And although it is on the decline, I think it does kind of spike up. Yeah, you can see it's gone up very quickly and then it'll go down after the fact. So that's fine. Uh, get rid of this water here, can we? Gotta get a mop up. Get rid of all that. Um, we do need to get a bottle emptier. Uh, this guy right here, so we can actually dump out all of the excess water. I think for now, I'll put that like right, uh, not like that. I need to press O to rotate. I think we'll put ours like that for now. So let's go dump the water into this like level here. That should be fine. Also, continue on with the ladders like so. And eventually, we do also want to have a ladder on this side like that, which will involve us clearing out an area over there as well. Uh, but I think this is a good start. I'm going to go ahead and pause there. I think I'm going to end our first episode here. Uh, next time, we'll come back. We do have a bunch more research to do. I need to keep on top of that. Make sure we keep going with the research, uh, but we've got a good amount of oxygen. Our duplicates can breathe, which is good. Um, we do probably need to work on airflow a little bit, uh, but I think we could do that just by clearing out spaces like this and this, and then clearing out the space either side of this ladder like that. That should allow all the carbon dioxide to fall, all the oxygen to rise. I'm hoping that as these grow, we've got enough food. Uh, if not, I might plant more of them on this next level down. We might need more of those. I'm not quite sure, uh, but for the time being, I think everything is doing A-OK. -okay. Stress is a little high. We might have to get a massage table to start to relieve some of that stress. Uh, but again, I'm going to end today's episode there. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already and you would like to, feel free to subscribe so you get notified as soon as new videos go out. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.